Bluegrass music uh, is sort of misrepresented a lot of times, uh, and I think it's interesting to show people just what it is. The sound of the music is, is lively and it's invigorating. Irresistible and toe-tapping, yet, yet rich with vernacular. A vital part of the American musical identity. I mean, it takes different elements of American society and you know, sonifies it in a way. It's um, a very progressive music and there's a lot of really exciting things happening with it. Embers from afar, I'll be embers from afar. Doing the workshops is a great way to introduce kids to bluegrass who may not have heard it before um, because it's a very upfront and direct way to be exposed to the music. And it brings it to them in such a way that engages them. Through the workshops we can engage the kids so it's not just them hearing a CD or hearing, hearing it and not being able to put a face to it. You see people playing it and you can get excited about it while you are watching them. It gives you an opportunity to break down what you're doing so that people can really understand because sometimes if they just went to see a show I don't think it's the same experience at all. It's really important to you know uh, latch on to what the, what the children are interested in. Uh, so if they take more interest in learning a vocal song or, you know, we can work on singing for a while. If they take more interest in dancing, you know, we can uh, lead another dance or something like that. But if you can break it down and you can show people what's going on, it gives them definitely like a, a stronger inroad. Today I learned about the new instruments, the mandolin, the violin, the bass, the banjo, and the guitar. They can touch the instruments, they can ask questions about the instruments, they can do some clapping, stomping group singing and dancing and things like that. They don't have to just be a spectator, they can be part of the experience. It's having them be able to connect with somebody who's actually playing the music and it's that sort of connection that sort of plants the, the seed for them to be interested in bluegrass and interested in music in general. It's so different from the type of music that they listen to on the radio or even things that they see on TV and that it's just something that came out of America. It's just homegrown and it's something that, that has gotten so far out of our culture so it's nice to bring it back to them. I thought it was really fun. Bluegrass is a kind of music that flows and is all natural. It was different than I, than I actually thought it would be. I doubt that the students had ever heard of bluegrass, number one, and I think it's very important to broaden their horizons. Students, our children, need to be exposed. It gives them something new uh, that they've learned, and it's uh, very important to be open to new learning. Especially now in the public schools, where music education is being cut, it's a really great opportunity to come in and teach kids. In a way that's lively, in a way that's um, interactive, and in a way that's ultimately educational and fun. So I'm excited to share that with younger kids so that they can get excited about it and so then we can have another generation of players and another generation of people who love the music and are taking it in a new direction.